Hi all, in my previous video I have explained you about substitution cipher and transposition cipher with various examples. We should know few more types of ciphers and how it works. What are those? Running key cipher, stream cipher and block cipher. Let's see one by one. Let's see running key cipher first. You all know many cryptographic vulnerabilities are due to limited length of the key in my previous video i have explained that we can overcome this vulnerability with the help of one time pad how because one time pad algorithm use a key length as long as the plain text message however one time pads are awkward to implement why because they require physical exchange of pads which is difficult so we can overcome with running key cipher this running key cipher works same like one time pad encryption this also use the encryption key length as long as the plain text message but often choose from a common book newspaper or magazine for example, the sender and recipient might agree in advance which book they are going to use, which paragraph they are going to choose, everything in advance. They would both simply use as many consecutive characters as necessary to perform the encryption and decryption process. The next one is block cipher. Block cipher operate on blocks of message and apply the encryption algorithm to an entire block at the same time a very good example for block cipher is transposition cipher the last one is stream cipher stream cipher operate on one character or a bit of message at a time very good example is substitution cipher both one time pad and caesar cipher because the algorithm operates on each letter of the plain text message independently. Stream cipher can also function as a block cipher. How? In such operation, there is a buffer that fills up to a real-time data, then encrypted as a block and transmitted to the recipient. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.